What's up guys, Little J here and welcome to Titan Station. This is a brand new game that's come out on Steam. It has less than 30 reviews, but I found it to look very interesting. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but let's jump right into it, I guess. Nations, in 1969, the U.S. landed on the moon. Nations and companies made huge technology really leaps towards their heart as they grasp for the riches of space. Today, the year is 1999. Okay, mining and space colonization is just another job. So this isn't. So this is 1999 with highly advanced technology. So we are David Miller. I need to earn some money and do something with my life. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yep, this is your bed. That's actually a cool little place. So you ignore you know, the fact that it's all concrete. Let's uh, sleep. Wake up! Don't make me come in there, Miller. What do you want? The money, Miller. Where is the money? Uh oh. I don't have any money. Yeah, 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 I heard it all before, Miller. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. I've heard it before. Now, where is my money? I told you, I don't have any money. You listen to me, Miller. When I come back, and I will, you will have the money, or it will be your kidneys paying the price. Do I make myself clear? Uh-oh. So our dude's in trouble. Walking out doesn't seem like the best idea right now, does it? There's gotta be a way to make some money. Is that our phone? Uh, hello? I'm here to pick up David Miller. I am David Miller, but I didn't order a taxi. So, I got the job? Yes, you did. Please come down on a tight schedule. We need to get this sorted before we take the elevator into the space shuttle. You can use the container at the airport station. Alright, so we got a job. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Traveling to Titan Refueling Station is a three year long journey. Contracts are five years long with huge bonus, bonuses if extended. Decade in space renders enough wealth to never have to work again. It's used to be the best mankind, best of mankind working space. Now it's whoever is prepared to sign away years of their life. So yeah, it's a three-year journey, plus five years there, plus three years back. So you're spending eleven years in space if you don't get extended. No, satellite. No, Saturn, not satellite. Words are hard. Titan, Saturn's largest moon. All right, so we're on the the moon of Saturn. Dense atmosphere, rich in liquid ethane and liquid methane. Methane. Titan ground operations refine fuel to be pumped up to the Titan refueling station used using a com combined space elevator and pipeline transport system. Words are hard. So we're on the moon of Saturn now. Is that the elevator? Yeah, it looks like it is. I must say, the graphics in this game are pretty darn good. The docking station stores refined fuel for further transport. Small crew keeps the station operational, managing, yeah, 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 yeah. It's considered one of the, be uh, the better jobs to have in space. Name, David Miller. So we get a key card, a radio, and what's this? That's our class one thing, and this is our radio? Simple radio. Try calling someone. Let's try that. Hello, I uh, I just arrived. I'm I'm David. Hello. Ah yes. Welcome to Titan Refueling Station. We've been expecting you. Thank you. Who am I speaking with? My name is Jack. I am the manager of this station. It's 
It's a pleasure to meet you, Jack. I'm happy to finally be here. Glad to have you on board. But how did you end up here? Ah, uh, let's just be honest with them. To be honest, I really needed the money. Ah, uh, the truth. The only honest answer. How did you end up here? <laughs> I come from a long line of space workers. Let's get you settled in. You'll find your room in Section A. Okay. There should be a sign with your name above the door. Section A. Okay, thank you. I mean, on the radio when you are rested and ready to get some work done. This is obviously where we need to go. Find your room, Mark David Miller, in Section A. Here we are, David Miller. Oh, this is a good sized room. Have a rest. It's all our stuff. We have a little closet with our spacesuits, a ginormous TV. That's cool. There's our bed. The bed's the smallest part of this, our computer. What's on our computer? Messages. Nothing. System. Diagnostics. Uh, nothing. Network. Connect. Connected. I don't know what that did. Hey, Jack. I'm ready to get some work done. Hey, that's great. How's your room? I thought the TV was going to be bigger. Nah, that's pretty dirty. It's, uh, it's pretty dirty. Like, it hasn't been clean since the last person who lived there. It's those hopeless robots. They, they can't do anything right. So, do you have any work for me? Yes, quite a lot, actually. Good. First, I need you to go through all the apartments in Section A. Go through all the apartments? I'm in Section A, so let's ask him what to do what. Do what? I want you to connect all computers in Section A to the network. Each of the five apartments has one, including yours. Already did mine. Is, is that okay with the people living in them? Everyone is busy at work, so you shouldn't run into anyone. Your keycard now has access to all the rooms. What if a uh, computer requires a password? You will have to figure it out. Well, just look around. It's probably written down somewhere. Okay, then we gotta figure out. Let's ask him why. Why do you need the computers to be online? I need to do a critical system update, which is impossible if the computers are offline. What's the update for? Mainly system stability. Do you take stability and performance very seriously here? We definitely do. Let me know if you run into any problems. That's a lot of questions. It's a plausible enough answer, but I have a feeling that's not truly what it's for. I can't find. Is there something else in here? God, someone else is reading. Hello. Testing. Testing. Hello? Who are you? Well, we picked up someone else's radio. I'm, I'm David. I just started working. Why do you have Sarah's radio? I... I found the radio in her room. Why are you in her room? <laughs> I am here to connect all computers to the network. So, you're taking the opportunity to mess around with her stuff? Uh... <laughs> well, no, I, I, I just need to figure out the password for her. Okay. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Do you have a suggestion? My best guess would be her 
father's name. What makes you think it's her father's name? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea of where to start. Sorry to hear that. You seem like an okay guy. Take her radio with you. Maybe I can help you with other stuff as well. That seems like a bad idea. I can't just steal other people's stuff. Come on. I'm lonely. Take the radio with you, and I'll tell you her father's name. Okay, random person on the other side of the radio, because you say so, I will steal this radio. My name is Veronica. Okay, Veronica. What was her father's name? His name is Paul. Alright, so possible new password is Paul. I'm going to patch the call through the radio, be ready, and I'll let you know. Uh... Thank you so much for doing this. From Sarah Williams to someone Mackenzie. But won't the people at the station be able to hear me talking on the radio? The radio uses a secure channel. In short, it encrypts communication. As long as the light is green, no one else on the station will hear your conversation. So that's good to know. If the light on a radio is green, it's encrypted. Only you can hear it. This one is... Steve McCracken. Oh... I need a uh, actual like number. Let's sort of put the door locked by code. This door requires a code. The name above the door is Steve McCracken. Do you know the code? Fortunately, no. Nothing I can do from here. The password is a uh, fallback when the door loses connection to the network. Just forget about that one. Forget about it. If it's that important, why must I forget about it? Some of the, yeah, some of this just... What the heck is that? Um... Hello? What are you? Hello? Billy, hello, what are you doing here? Were you watching TV? What are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? You are not John. I'm here to, to connect his computer to the network. Okay, I'm here to clean this place. But you just watch TV instead. But you just watch TV instead. There you go. Okay, okay, I'm watching TV. It's not like I'm being paid by the hour. I won't tell anyone if you give me the password to John's computer. Extortion, I can't tell you, but I do know it's his favorite movie. Do you know what movie John likes the most? Of course, it's Ro it's Robo Man. Thank you. All the computers are connected and online now. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help with? Now, I need you to leave Section A and make your way to Section B. What's in Section B? There's a lot in Section B, but you are looking for data centers to connect to the network. Are they also to be updated? That's right, but it might be a bit more challenging than the personal workstations. Where are you in when you reach the data center hub? Why'd we take the job? Tell the truth. Um, to be honest, I was living in a bad situation. Long story short, I had money problems. Is that really it? Money? It is part of it, but I guess I also needed a purpose. I've been kind of just drifting through life and not getting anywhere like that. Like I'm on autopilot. And here you are, David. Systems operator. Helping to keep this gas station working. <laughs> yeah. 
but that is good enough for me. Section D is open. Call me if you need help. Or want to talk about anything. I appreciate it. Alright, here we go. Here's a little map. So, if we go through room, something, a, a stop sign with D, a uh, Pac Man, a satellite, C has uh, Saturn and a dude sleeping, B has Saturn and a uh, vending machine. Alright, so we're going to the vending machine. This game is quite interesting, but um, before we get to section B guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Titan Station. I've really enjoyed it. It's quite mysterious, quite interesting. I can't wait to play more of it, but until the next one guys, I've been Little J and I'll catch you guys in the next one.